Can I ask you what your well, vote You may want to interrupt now. the answer if you don't like it. No, but no, you've got to give me a chance to answer the question. Before. The if question you asked was well, free bus travel the for the poorest Londoners. No, I'm yeah, not going to accept your government's Mr. condition Mr. to remove free travel. Lied about TfL finances, so I think we are on fairly Sorry, wrong. I don't think calling the Prime Minister uh, uh, a liar, AM. I think he did not. I think he is a liar. member, Barry. Thank you, Chair. Um, good morning, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm just feeling very, very worried, and I can sort of see on your face that there's a, a lot of worry about this this situation. Um, I'm from a different party, but I do I do want to make sure that I'm offering you um, my support. You're the person elected to represent London in these negotiations with Downing Street, and and, and I, I hope that in this sort of very serious crisis situation, those of us on the Assembly are here to, to help to work you know, make suggestions, but also to work together to find the right answer for Londoners on this. So um, I'm going to try and shed some more light and heat onto this discussion, if that's OK. Firstly, can I just say this, and it's really important I say this, uh, I hope Londoners are watching the cross-party way you're seeking to work with us to solve this problem. And I'm really grateful uh, for the way you approach this matter, and other matters, in fact, uh, and you've done so over the last four and a half years consistently. Okay, so moving on to the conditions question... Um, and here I might get a little bit more challenging. Um, I think, I mean, I mean you've, you've rejected all of the, the rumoured conditions, um, the, the, the fares going up, the increase in council tax, the higher congestion charge zone and the loss of the, the free travel for, for young and old people. Um, and I think, you know, that, those, that's, that's right to me, but none of those things seem to be fair. And I think all of us here would probably agree that a increased congestion charge zone with a flat daily payment would not be fair on Londoners and might even have some unintended consequences for central London. And the increase in council tax in a punitive way, because it would be a big increase in council tax, would not be a fair progressive thing to do either because of the structure of that tax. So we, we do have to be thinking about what else to do. Um, I know you've made a long-term investment case to the comprehensive spending review, but in terms of a long-term way to make TfL's uh, income, revenue, more diverse and more resilient. Are you, have you made any alternative proposals to the government that arise from your independent review of TfL's finances? For example, smart, fair, privacy-friendly road charging, which would be much fairer than a flat congestion charge. First, just one thing I must just correct you on. You began your question by saying, I'm sure we'd all agree that extending the congestion charge or increasing the council tax is a bad thing. I'm not sure if the Conservatives would agree with that, by the way. It's really important I'm to just clarify that I'm certainly from all parties saying that the congestion charge, the flat congestion charge increase would be rather unfair. I, I'm not sure. Well, I think it's unfair, but it was a Tory proposal from a Tory Secretary of State. So let's just be clear, we're not giving them the credit they don't deserve. I think you know London are more or less oh, agree yeah. with you. You and I can agree, uh, and uh, Labour members would agree with you. And I just, I dare say, even even Brexit Alliance may agree with you. I know the Lib Dems will definitely agree with you. I can't speak for the Tories, oh. um, but but let's be quite clear in relation to uh, 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 the, the work we're doing. So the independent review that TfL have asked to be uh, to, to have commissioned, that's not reported back yet, and uh, I, I'm not sure it's going to be in it. But that what you've uh, inferred could be in it. I'm not sure. What I do know that's already out there is the report of the London Finance Commission, the first one. Uh, commissioned by the previous mayor, which had a number of uh, ways to raise revenues in uh, London. And there's a second uh, London Finance Commission report, which I commissioned, using the same experts uh, that, that Boris Johnson had used. And they've also made a number of recommendations about ways to increase revenues in our city. OK, because I, I mean, to, my, to my mind, what we do need from government is short-term support to tide us over in just the way that they've given to the train operating companies. That, that much is clear. The, the fares income has to be replaced by government because there's nothing we could have done about that. In the longer term, we ought to be coming up with alternatives to raise money in a fair way for the transport system. And to my mind, the thing that's overdue here is, is the smarter congestion charging scheme that I've been putting forward for years. So I hope that will come forward because that would be the the way to get agreement from government, short-term support with, with time to work up long-term resilience. Oh, I agree, you've got to, you've got to disaggregate the short-term funding uh, London needs, uh, and COVID's going to be with us, unfortunately, for some time now. 
which is why the sticking plaster, stick plaster approach of six months doesn't work. We want an 18-month deal for a TFO, but we'll have to wait and see what the government does. But you're right to say we should be thinking about how we put TFO on a, on a long-term sustainable uh, financial footing. Uh, you've suggested uh, one thing we've discussed in the past. It's in the, it's in the long-term uh, uh, strategy that I've got. You'll be aware of the Mayor's transport strategy over some period of time. We've also discussed uh, query whether the, t the technology is there in the uh, short term. But you're right, even if it was there, that's not a solution to the short-term challenges. That's, the, that's government grant. Um, but I think nothing should be ruled out vis-a-vis -vis long term, particularly with technical innovations. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I look forward to the independent review commissioned by TfL. Unlike the government, we're not going to redact it and bury it away, uh, as of then with a KPMG report. We'll make sure it's made public, uh, as is the norm when it comes to work I commission.